pleasure now to introduce our speaker, Carol Ann. Uh, I've known Carol Ann, I guess we go back to the 80s or 90s or something. We'll, yeah, 90s. Uh, I think I first met you at my house when we were doing meditations. Yeah. And, uh, but I've always loved Carol Ann. She's just got a most a heart filled with love and beautiful soul. And uh, I'm going to read you a little bit about her, her bio here. Uh, she's an ordained minister in the Order of Melchizedek. She is a seasoned uh, spiritual mentor, teacher, energy medicine and meditation practitioner, life and soul coach. Uh, she believes wellness is a state of being. Laughter is essential. Uh, it goes on to say prayer, gratitude, heart-centered living and meditation are foundations in her life. She is a student of new thought and ancient wisdom teachings. Her holistic practice called Carol Ann Wellness is here in Virginia Beach, and for the past 25 years, she has served clients worldwide, including me. So, <laughs> well, I'd like to welcome Carol Ann. Thank you so much, Bruce. Thank you. Well, gosh, after all this music and meditation, I feel like our cups are full. We, we're leaning in. We're leaning into God right now, right? Well, I'm just, I'm so happy to be here today, and it, it's such a beautiful, beautiful day. I was, I was walking this morning, and it was about quarter to seven, and I looked up and saw, saw the great eagle and just knew that something really magical was going to happen today. And, and with, with the music being played and the meditation and just everyone opening their hearts, it already is. It already is magical. So this whole concept of leaning in is really, really important now more than ever, actually. Um, I believe that we are in a, at a time in our evolution where we are learning to live inspired. We are learning to lean in to the God of our understanding and to embrace the natural flow of life and the natural flow of what is happening and to come out of the idea that we have to be in control of things. And I, I believe that the universe is constantly and consistently reminding us that when we lean in, everything really does flow and everything really does work out. And it's really up to us to embrace this understanding. You know, I, um, I, I had a conversation with a really good friend of mine about leaning in a couple of months ago when I was going through a little bit of a challenge and I said, you know, everything's changing. And I said, and I'm, I'm not really sure, you know, which way God is leading me. And he just, he just paused and he said, he said, Carol Ann, lean in. You know how to do that. You've been doing that most of your life. And in that moment, you ever have that moment when someone says something and it just, it clicks into the core of who you are and you know that you've evolved, you know, or you've, you've gotten it, that, that, that kind of aha, you know, type of moment. And so ever since then, the idea of leaning in is, is a pathway. It's a pathway that I'm on. It's a pathway that I'm excited about. It's a pathway that I believe all of us are evolving into. I really, I really do believe that. And the truth is, is that it's fun. It's really, really fun. Um, so in Joshua 1.7, it says, be strong and courageous. Let the Holy Spirit, the Christ, guide and fully sustain you in every step, in every decision, in every thought, in every action, in every word, and every breath, all to glorify God. Do you feel that? 
I, I absolutely am absolutely sure that the Creator desires deep connection with us more than ever, more than ever. And, and in whatever way we are connecting, whether it be through music or through nature or, or, or through gathering, we are being touched by the Creator, by God, in a way that we have never been before. The universal energies are awakening and opening us in, in just in, in miraculous, in miraculous ways. And so the more that we are able to live in that and from that, that Christ consciousness, that light, that, that God consciousness, the more that we are not on, the more that we are glorifying God and not only glorifying God, the more that we are touching each other, the more that we are helping each other, the more that we are coming together. And I believe that we are. I really do believe that we are. We, um, so when we get inspired, then that's our touchstone, so to speak. That's, 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 that's the creator's way of saying, OK, I'm right here. I have you, I'm leading you, I'm guiding you, and we are all instruments, right, in this orchestra of life. And we're playing our parts, and we are here to be the expression that only we can be, that only Sarah can be, that only John can be, that only Larry can be, that only Dale can be, and you being who you are, and being the expression that you are is more important than ever. Because every single person has a very unique role to play in this orchestra. And the creator is the orchestra leader. And I don't know, I think there's something really comforting in that. <laughs> I really, really do, to know that that we're all part of this, and that there's this source, there's this loving force that, that, as Bruce said, that loves us so much, is leading us, leading us, you know? Every time, every time we breathe that in, I believe that we become more of who we are. I really do believe that. So what happens when things come up that we didn't plan? And what happens when, you know, as I would say, God throws us that curveball, right? And I, I, I had a situation happen a couple of weeks ago, which I'll share later. And, and this morning I was thinking, why did I get so upset? Why, why did I let that take me out of, of what I know is true? And I, I so when these situations happen, why do we? Why do we let things take us so far out of our center or, or so far out of the love that we know we are or the love that we know is there? You know, it's, it's I really do believe that we can do it differently. So sometimes leaning in is about getting out of the way, right? And sometimes leaning in is about getting quiet. And sometimes leaning in is about going with the flow. And sometimes leaning in is about letting go. And sometimes leaning in is about taking an action. And it's in that conscious communion with our creator that we know which path to take, right? I'm sure that most, that all of you can relate with that. It's like when we, when we really listen within, 
we know that, oh, yes, I meant to go here. Or, oh, yes, yes, I meant to, I meant to take a step back here. You know, it's interesting because when I, when I saw the sunflowers, which are some of my favorite flowers, um, I, I thought that was such a neat synchronicity because um, I found this quote about how the um, sunflower leans up and leans into the sun. You know how the sunflowers, they, they lean up, you know? So nature knows how to lean in, right? Nature is constantly showing us how to lean in and how to live and how to play and how to dance and how to ground and how to do just about everything, you know? And I, I recently heard uh, one of my younger clients, it's always cool to hear what younger clients, like the awareness that they're coming to. And she told me that um, she saw this, this stream on TikTok where people, these young, young people, like in their 20s and, or so, are discovering nature. And they know that nature is speaking to them. And they are posting it and videoing it. And that is so inspiring to me that people are leaning in to the creator in whatever way they're leaning in. So people awakening to nature, people awakening to the truth of who they are, people awakening to new ideas and new inspirations. And it, it gives us hope, right? It gives us hope that people are, are waking up. You know, so the creator is leaning into us and we're leaning in. And um, it's just, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. So I came across this inspiration that really resonated with me. And it says, everything you want is coming. Relax and let the universe pick the timing and the way. Your part is to trust that what you want is coming, that what is best for you is coming, and then, and then watch how fast it comes to you. And so we know that God, Spirit, the Creator, wants the best for us in every moment, in every situation, you know, when, when Jesus said, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, lean not on our own understanding, and always acknowledge him or her, and he, they will direct our path, it's lean into the consciousness, lean into what the creator is saying, lean into that still, small voice, and operate from there. And this is not new. We're just ready to do it differently, aren't we? We're ready to do it differently. We're ready to live in more joy. We're ready to let God take the wheel, be the orchestra leader. You know, I love that saying, take your hands off the steering wheel of control and let, and let God, let the universe. Um, you know, and it's interesting because Sometimes we don't always understand what the universe is bringing or, or understand why it's being brought in a certain way because it's not necessarily the way we thought or the way that we hoped. And yet, it's usually perfect. You know, and it's helping us to understand that we don't have to be in control that we can enjoy new things, or we can enjoy other things, or we can open up to something greater. Um, so the steps to leaning in are, first of all, connecting. So when we, when we breathe in and we turn our attention inward 
to the divine source, to the love, we are instantly exactly where we need to be and where we're meant to be. And so even if we're doing that a hundred times a day, which sometimes we are, it's in that place that we're home. It's in that place that we feel and know that we're loved and safe and that we can radiate who we are. The other step is trust. Trust is the big one, right? I mean, trusting that we're where we're meant to be, that everything is working in divine order, and then to stay open. So those are the three things. And the fourth is to enjoy it, to enjoy what is. You know, have you ever gone on a trip or a journey and you're like, oh, I really want to go here. And like, I really want to go climb that mountain or I really want to go see that waterfall or I really want to go to that famous Italian restaurant. And you get on your journey and it seems like the path is taking you in different directions. And what you end up experiencing is greater than what you could have planned. That's leaning in. That's leaning into what is, right? So, so here's my story. So a couple of weeks ago, I, uh, I came home from work, and it's a Saturday afternoon. It's a beautiful day like this. It, wanted, it was one of the first really, really pretty days. And I was like, I'm going to repot some plants. I'm going to you know, get my hands in the dirt. And so I'm, I'm having a great time out there I'm making a big mess on my deck. And I'm like, I, I need more soil. So I have a, um, there's a closet on the deck that houses the home of the hot water heater and um, connects the HVAC through the ceilings and all this other stuff. So I open the door, and there's water everywhere. It's in the walls, it's in the ceilings, it's everywhere. And, it's, and I'm like, oh my gosh. And <laughs> for a second, I just was like frozen, you know, and then I was like, okay, I got to figure out how to shut off the valves. And so um, I, just took a, I just took a breath and I was like, I wonder how long that's leaking. And then I was like, no, that's not helpful. So I was like, Carol Ann, just pray for a second, so I just started, I just started to pray, and then I heard Jeff, and I have a friend, a, a very, a friend that I've known in the community for a really long time who's a contractor, and it was like, call Jeff, so I called him, picked up the phone, um, said, do this, do that, and um, told me of the name of a plumber, I mean, it was literally like, as soon as I prayed, I got this message, and I just started to flow with it. And so got, got the water turned off. I went up into the attic and that's where the leak was. So, you know, when water starts to get into the walls, like water has a mind of its own. It has a flow of its own. It says, I'm gonna go where I wanna go, right? Which is exactly what spirit is doing because water is spirit, right? So spirit is saying, I want you to go here. And so I went up in the attic and I'm, you know, I'm keeping my cool and I'm also like, this is gonna be something. And um, so long story short, I call my landlord and see if we can get things in motion to get, you know, help over there. And um, he gets on it really fast, which is not what, which was a miracle, I'm gonna say that. And um, I was talking to one of my friends and, and they said to me, focus on what you can control, not what you can't control. And I said, well, what I can control is my thoughts, my actions, my breath, and I just, called some friends. I said, you know, can you pray for me? Can you pray for this situation? And this 
calm started to come over me. And um, within about three hours, someone called from the, um, the repair company and said, we can come over tomorrow and access the damage. And I was like, oh my God, on a Sunday? Miracle too. So the guy came over, his name was Adam, really nice guy, and you know, inspected everything. And um, I was like, you know, I think it's gonna be okay. And so the next day was when the challenge started because I had clients, I had to go to work, I had to start rearranging my schedule. They told me they're, they had to rip out some of the walls. It, you know, it was going to be kind of a big deal. And I, I took a day, I, you know, I just was like, Caroline, you know what to do, like focus on your breath. And so we were waiting for the insurance company to give their go ahead, I guess, you know, and say, we'll, we'll take care of this. And um, so I had cleared my schedule and I had moved people around and, you know, gratefully they moved around, but you know, it's tense. It's tense when your life gets disrupted, right? Like, it's a thing. And as much as we don't want to be tense, it's like we're getting disrupted and we're feeling out of sorts and everything. So, Everything goes through, and um, I get a call, and Adam says, okay, we're on our way. And so he comes in, and uh, he says, oh, and I, I brought a helper with me. And so he, they're coming in with all this equipment because they have to dry everything out before they can rip it out. And um, big learning curve for me about things that happen in your home. And... So, so Adam comes in, and then this other guy comes in, and I said, hey, thank you so much for being here, you know, and, and, and he, he looks at me and he says, I'm Emmanuel. And I said, okay, Jesus is in the house. And I was like, it's all going to be okay. And from that moment on, it was okay. I... Even now, it's like I was, I, I am, and was so touched by what God was doing in this situation. God was saying, I've got you. I've got you, even in the midst of this. Even in the midst of you being upset and having to rearrange everything and not knowing what's going to happen with your, with your home, I've got you. What are the chances of, of two helpers coming in from a company named Adam and, and Emmanuel. I'm like, what are the chances? And so my, one of my friends was like, Carol Ann, this stuff only happens to you. And I was like, well, I'm thanking God for that. And it, it doesn't just happen to me. It happens to all of us in many, many different ways, you know? And I, I just have to tell you that these, these young, younger guys were so pleasant, they took their shoes off when they came in. I mean, they didn't keep them off because of all the, they had to keep going in and out. And the mess, there was like dust everywhere. And I was like, Carol Ann, lean in. It's going to be messy. It's going to be messy for a few days. And I just, I just opened to the whole experience in a way that I wouldn't have before. Because I knew that as long as I stayed connected, that it was all OK. And it was. I had some really great conversations, you know, with all the people that came in. We were laughing and having fun. And, and I never would have thought that a pipe bursting in my attic would have created so much joy. So you know. There's joy to be found in many, many unexpected places. There really, really is. And I honestly can tell you that I'm happy that that happened. I really am, because I really do believe that, and I know this may sound a little weird, it's like 
even that is God's way of loving me. You know? It's like when they say God works in mysterious ways, God loves us in mysterious ways. God is seeking to love us all the time. And I, I don't know, I, I want to wake up to that. I mean, we're in this time of awakening. I want to wake up to that more and more and more. So I hope that you will join me in waking up to God's love for you. Thank you.